My name is David Hovanisian. Um, I was born in Armenia and I'm a ballet dancer. I'm currently principal dancer with Milwaukee Ballet. I lo always loved dancing. When I was six, my mom um, put me in a folk dancing group and uh, my teacher said, you know, you're, you need to go to ballet school. And he took me to audition for ballet school and, uh, and I got in from the first time. I, I love dance, so I was like, okay, I'll try and then and then we'll see what happens. But I, I didn't get into it until I was probably 14, 15, just to kind of understand a dance, you know, meaning. So, and then from there, it, you know, it took off. I used to dance uh, right uh, the last year, I, uh, they took me to company, Armenian National Ballet Company. And I danced there for, for about a year. And then we came to US, that's when I stayed. Almost graduated, that was in uh, last, last year of um, school, and then we were touring to, um, we were supposed to come on tour to Los Angeles, and uh, sort of, I didn't go back, I kind of defected. So I did not graduate the last year, I wish I did, but um, I took a chance to um, stay in the U.S. to, you know, pursue my career. Well, staying here is probably the craziest thing I've ever done. Um, sort of, I came here to uh, U.S. for 20 days. I packed for 20 days. I came to just dance and go back home. But, and then my friends were like, "Let's just stay. Let's see what happens." I wasn't sure until last minute. You know, they they had a ticket for me, but I was just kind of like, you know, on the edge, like to go back home, you know, to go back um, to where I was doing and go back, you know, because I was supposed to go to army that year, or to take a chance, stay here and see what happens, you know. But um, then I said, no, I'm not coming back. I called my parents. I said, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm staying here. And it was just silence on the phone for a while. They didn't know what to say. They didn't know, you know, oh no, you have to come back. You know, they didn't know what to say. So they were like, okay, well, you know, we're, we trust your judgment. So I'll see what happens. And um, I had no, um, I did not speak any English. Um, I did not know anybody of, with my friend, help of my friends kind of, stayed here and there, danced a little bit. I almost quit for two years just to survive, to do, you know, any job I could find. You know, restaurants, um, construction, car wash, you know, just, just to survive here. It's really hard if you don't know anybody in the language to, to get into the dance field. But, uh, and then I, uh, I met my wife, Elisa, she, um, she supported me since then. She was like, no, you have to go back. You know, you can't quit. Um, you have something that, you know, that you just, you have to dance, you know, that's what you're made for. Uh, still, you know, you, you have no guarantee of um, your job because it's not like Europe, you know, the government doesn't support the companies. Companies could fold any minute. So you always have that fear. But I've, I think I've done pretty well um, since I got to Milwaukee Ballet. In seven years ago, I've been dancing there. Um, and yes, it is challenging. Once, as you get older, you know, the new people come in, the new dancers, new faces, but you have to still keep your best shape, try everything, you know, I just give everything. I don't, I don't care if, you know, there's somebody who's gonna jump higher than me and I'll be, oh my God, I'm scared. No, I still go on stage every time give all I can. If I look back to see if I should have stayed here or gone back to, to my old, you know, life back in Armenia, um, I have no regrets that I have stayed. It could have gone in the wrong direction. It could, it could have gone really bad for me, but I'm really happy that, you know, I made some sacrifices a lot and, and it paid off. I'm really happy that I stayed here. I would not change it at all. Um, every time I dance on stage, I try to um, give the audience the idea of not you're not just a dancer, you know, doing pretty moves, that you bring them to you, in the story with you. I always do my characters fully in the character, not, just, not as me, as David, I do it as the character's name. That's why um, every time I do something, I try to Tell him, no, it's not me. This is the character you're watching and you're gonna appreciate what he's doing. Not, you know, that's, that's what I want them to live with, that I, they've been in 
and for two hours they've been in the magical story of ballet. When you're younger, it's a lot easier to, you know, to do things, to dance, to jump, you know, high, and, and it doesn't hurt as much. But as you get older, it gets a little challenging because of your body wears down, your muscles, you know, you know, they're not the same. They're not young. You get older, but at the same time, you get mature. You understand how to um, go on stage and perform without hurting yourself. It is really challenging to give all you can and at the same time think about tomorrow because you know you're gonna have to do that again not just for once I knew how challenging it was to stay in ballet and make career out of it you know how tough it's been this whole time um, would I change anything to take a different route I would I wouldn't for anything. I cannot imagine me doing something else. It's, it's, it's absolutely breathtaking for me to be on stage, to perform, to live that life. I would not, I just don't know what else can I do to, you know, to be in that level of satisfaction. I'm sure there are some things, but I don't know. So, no, I would not, I would not change anything. My advice for young dancers to not be lazy. Most of them are really lazy. They have potential, some of them, you know, you can see, but don't be lazy because if you want to do this, it's really short. You have to go for it. Do everything to get into it. It's a it's really good life. It might not, you know, pay millions of dollars, but in, at the end, the satisfaction, it worth, it worth everything. And for young guys, um, it's really tough because there aren't many male ballet dancers in the U.S. So I would say if you're going to do it, do it well. So, um, I have a big family. I have three kids and, and my in-laws live with me and uh, I work for Milwaukee Ballet as principal dancer, but still, you know, it's really hard to support a family here, you know, because, you, have, you know, you're off season sometimes and, you know, kids and it's, it's a lot. And uh, I try to do everything, you know, uh, summertime, I try to find other jobs still. As a principal dancer, you say, oh, you're a principal dancer, you must be well off. No, it's not that easy. It really is hard for a you know, father to support the family, um, especially with three kids. But um, I do everything to you know, keep them happy, my kids, um, give them every, anything they want, and hopefully better life and good careers. Really happy that I have my family because they've been the biggest support of my career. I would not have done what I've done in my career without them.